Hey, I've made it to Belsden. I'm about to go meet the guys on Allegro, the crew for the first time. Really excited for practice tomorrow. We're gonna practice for around the island yacht race. And then Saturday is the race. Whoop, whoop. And for those of you that don't know, my dad's also gonna be in the race on his boat, Second Chance. And their start time is 10 minutes after our start time. And so he's hoping he can come swooping past us at some point, but we'll be doing our best to make sure that doesn't happen. I reckon we can win. Walking to Elephant Boatyard on the River Hamble, south coast of the UK, and I'm just about to, about, uh, just about to go and meet the guys from Allegro. They're from Germany, it's a German boat, and they've sailed over here, I think about two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I really can't wait to meet the guys. Met them online through Crew Bay, no, through the website for the Round the Island race. So yeah, I've never met them before, but they seem really nice over email, and I'm sure they'll be lovely in, in person. I've got them a bottle of rum, I hope they drink rum, I don't know. I've now got to find the boat. I'm not too sure where it is, so. Wish me luck. So here I am, Elephant Boat Yard. Still don't know where the boat is, but it's somewhere out there. So I'm gonna have a little wander around so I can find Allegro. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning, it's Friday. Today we're gonna to be practicing. It's nice and windy. It's about 14 to 18 knots today. This is Allegro. Everyone else is asleep a minute. Here she is. So here we have the crew. It's Torstein with the winch handle. Then opposite him in the blue you have Moritz and in the white you have Fabian. This is Tilo in the navy blue. Then the grip for the boat. <laughs> and here's the captain. <laughs> this is Martin, the captain and owner of the boat. First sea trial through ship shape. Allegro was a quick boat and we were pushing over eight knots. Deck, clipped in, making us some lunch. Fabian, say hello. Aha! As the forecast for the race was to have a downwind start, we wanted to make sure we were comfortable with the spinnaker. Awesome. Shepherd's Wharf at about two o'clock, where we were rafted four boats deep. This is my dad's boat, Second Chance, coming in at about five o'clock, and they're done with practice. We went into Cowes to check out the race village and hear the briefing. Now what we have is two weather systems for tomorrow, which are going to um, give different weather conditions during the day, and it's managing the transition of those different conditions, which is really good. 
The weather was so nice, we went for a quick dip in the sea. For the morning of the race, we had a German-style breakfast and we were all really excited to get cracking. Calm before the storm. This is us heading out to the start line with about 20 minutes to go. How's everyone feeling? Curious. Could be better, yeah. As you can hear from the wind noise, there was a decent amount of breeze, about 14 knots coming from the east, which gave us the downwind start we've been expecting. Happy days to start. Here we are hoisting 130% Genoa. Just crossed the start line, we're about five minutes into our race. The boat was named Allegro after Box Concerto Allegro, which we listened to as we sailed. As we passed Hurst Point and made our way to the needle, the wind had really died down, so we did a bit of bobbing. As we made our way closer to the needles, the wind gently started to return, but remained light. It's taken us about five hours to get around to St Catherine's Point, which is roughly the halfway mark.
we approached Sandown Bay, we started to encounter light airs. After an hour and a half of slow sailing, the wind returned. These, these guys here are in the same class as us. It had taken us nine hours of sailing to reach Benbridge, and we decided to boost morale with a nice German beer. Cheers! Uh, Neptune, thank you. Thanks for a great day. Cheers all. Yeah. Cheers. Full of jellyfish. <laughs> Everybody say we're not retiring. <laughs> At this point, 10 hours into the race, many boats had already given up and started motoring. Looking in the easiest way. Last chef tonight. Ah, your chef tonight. The wind had built back in, now coming from the east. <laughs> We're going to beat you to the finish! It was really cool being so close to a clip around the world racing yacht. The race is on. It was a race against the clock to see if we could make it to the finish line before the 10.30 cutoff. What do you say? Finish lights in sight. Get ready to come starboard, Tito! Yeah, yeah. You've got to go on the left hand side of the boat. Yeah. Left, left is correct there, I've checked it. Are yeah, definitely left, definitely left. Is this the right way up? Yeah. 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 So we can't... There's actually nobody in front of us. <laughs> oh no! That was 9.43. Yeah. Woo! We made it. Woo! Party boat. Away. 
As we were motoring into the entrance of Cows, we saw my parents' boat Second Chance coming in. Uh, six at the most, but it's quite crowded with six. Just like that, it was all over. I hopped back onto my parents' boat and we sailed off. I had a fantastic weekend sailing with Allegra and her crew. I couldn't wait to sail them again. <laughs> Back onto my parents' boat, we'd come 33rd overall, 4th in our class, and most importantly, we beat my parents. I had a fantastic weekend sailing on Allegro, I can't thank them all enough, I hope to sail again with them soon.